Hello and welcome to this week's Flip Learning on following instructions for English. So what are instructions? Have a little think together, um, talk about this and maybe just have come up with a definition of what are instructions. So instructions tell us how to do or make something. They're written for someone who needs to know or how to, to, how to do or how to make something. All these instructions could be verbal and given to you um, in your everyday lives and they probably are given to you more than you realise. So instructions always come with something at the beginning called in, an imperative verb and these are also known as bossy words. Um, so have a look here, here are some examples of some bossy verbs. Uh, for example, close the door, close being the bossy verb, imperative verb, empty the bin or eat your dinner. Um, and some other words we've got here, we've got hold, draw, fold, tidy, all of these words tell you to do something. So they're called a bossy verb or an imperative, imperative verb. Can you think of any different ones uh, at home? Maybe you could write a few down if you can. So what are the key things that are featured in instructions? Have a think together. Are there different things that you might realise that are in most instructions? So we found out that actually most instructions have a title at the beginning, telling us what we need to know um, and what the instructions are for. There'll also be a list of things you need for the instructions. For example, if you were making a cake, then there would be a list of ingredients that you will need to get to be able to complete the instructions. And then there will be a method which tells you what to do. Normally the instructions are numbered, one, two, three and so on, to telling you what order to do the instructions in. And they often, most of the time, feature bossy words or imperative verbs, the ones that we just spoke about. So today we're going to have a different activity and you are going to see if you can follow some instructions. So, But first, just think, have a think. Is there any different instructions that you know that you follow every day? Maybe in the classroom or at home? Um, have a think together. Here are some that I have come up with. We follow instructions when we're lining up from, a, from your teacher to do different activities every lesson, helping an adult make something in the kitchen at home, playing a game, making something in, in an art lesson, getting ready for school, getting ready for bed at night time. These are all instructions that you follow every day, probably without even realising. So have a think together. Can you think of any different um, instructions that you follow every day? So, instructions that we're going to follow today. How to tie your shoelaces. Now, lots of children ask us every day, can you tie my shoelace, miss? So today we're going to see if we can learn. And then we want you to show your class teacher uh, when you followed this to see, to show them how good you have become at tying your own shoelaces. So, instruction number one. Take both laces and cross them over to make an X at, with the left lace at the front. So have a look at the picture here. That will help you. Instruction number two, pull the left hand lace through the bottom of the cross. Have a look at the picture again if you're not sure. And you obviously can get your adult at home to help you with this. Tighten the laces together and pull both sides. Loop the laces into rabbit ears. So just like that's shown in the picture. If you're not sure, if you're a bit stuck, go back to number one and see if that you can start again. Next, pull the ear through to the other side. Have a look at the picture again. Tighten the rabbit ears into a bow. And here we go, you should have been able to do that. So if you're not sure, or if you think you might need to have another go, go back to step instruction number one and see if you can do that again. So if you've noticed, our instructions have, are all numbered, one to eight, and they have a picture and they also have the method of telling you how to do that. So I really hope you've had a go at doing that. Well done if you did and good work and show your teacher that you've managed to do that and follow instructions to tie your shoelaces. Thank you very much for watching today and for taking part if you did. I hope you um, managed to be able to do that.